I want to talk a little bit about the goods, the bads, the the fun, the the, the good times, the the not so good times of owning a pressure washing business and being successful and all of the good things that come along with owning a pressure washing business. So I've been, um, so I'm going to tell a little bit of story on myself this week. Um, I had my own scare this week. And so, um, I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to hit a little on a little other thing. So Tuesday I went and I've been gone from the weekend because I went to ResponsaCon and Tuesday, um, I woke up and I went to my computer screen and everything was a little blurry. And so I didn't say nothing right away to my wife and we went and I, uh, I, uh, told my wife later on that afternoon and she's like, we're taking you somewhere because it was still blurry a little bit. And so Tuesday I went to the hospital and I was in the hospital Tuesday and Wednesday to get checked out and they took it pretty seriously at the hospital. They thought I was having a stroke or something and I didn't, which was good. Um, but that's kind of, um, they did ran all kinds of tests. And so that is, why, um, where I'm, where and then yesterday I got let out also. And the reason why I'm saying this is, is because a lot of times, you know, when crap is hitting the fan, it, 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 it just like 10 X's. And then while I'm in the hospital, my daughter sends us a picture of our, um, living room ceiling that is collapsing because water line had busted above that. So, when I say that we have ups and downs, I mean we have ups and downs. And it is it happens with us in business too. Now, I don't know the all the ins and outs, but John Lang is a fellow YouTuber and he hasn't posted in a long about nine months last time I checked. But he passed away today. And so I wanna hit on those things that um of what, what, of, you know, how to make sure that you're setting up yourself, not only just as a pressure washer, but some things that we can set up for our families too. And I know sometimes money can get hard, especially when we are, um, when we don't know how to price, we don't know how to bid jobs, we, we, we don't know how to do those things, and we don't know how to get through winter sometimes, and I know things can be hard. Um, you know, I know that, you know, if we set high goals and we don't make those goals, depression is a real deal as an entrepreneur. Um, and, and the book that I've, I'm reading now is a great book of The Gap and the Gains. And it, it talks about this quite a bit of, you know, we, some, a lot of times we worry about the gap that we never made, you know, maybe, Hey, I wanted to hit 300,000. I wanted to hit a hundred thousand this year. And I only did 75 and we don't look at the gain of, we did 75,000. We look at the gap of only 25,000 and we allow that to, to discourage us. So, Sitting in the hospital room the other day, I was thinking, my wife was pretty scared. I, I mean, I was, I, I didn't know what was going on. Um, and so they ran an MRI, a CAT scan, uh, an echocardiogram. They ran the whole, they ran the whole book on me. Um, and, you know, I, I sit there and I thinking about, um, I, I was just thinking about business, you know, if you got hit by a bus today, what would happen to you? You know, if do you have kids that you need to be taken care of? Do you have a wife that needs to be taken care of? You know, and I know a lot of times it can be hard, um, but, you know, I have a life policy, insurance policy on me. I've had it for years. Um, that if something happens to me, my wife is going to be taken care of for the most part. Um, you know, there's enough there that she can get me in the ground and, and live for several years on it. And so, you know, and it's not that expensive when we're talking about it. You know, you can get a decent life policy for, you know, 50, 75 bucks a month. You might say, well, that's a lot, $750 a year. Well, is that for the peace of mind? 
or your family. Um, if you don't have family, that's a different story. Um, you know, so those are some things. But getting back to John Lang, I know there is a go. Is um, it's raised? Uh, last I checked, it's almost to nine thousand dollars. They're looking for twelve, um, and so that is something that they're trying to do to help him and for his funeral cost and for his um, two little girls. And you know, you you just never know. Um, I don't know the reason why he passed, um, but you know that's not my um, that's not my. That's not my side to judge, um, you know, but I do know he does have two little girls and they need to be taken care of. Um, and so those are some things that, you know, I, I want to hit on. Another thing I want to hit on while I was at the hospital of systems. And, you know, you hear systems all the time. I talk about systems in their business, and I talk about systems all the time. And what I realize, what I come in to really realize, is that systems play in everything. So I was at the hospital, and I sat there for five hours waiting for them to release me. Because they have no systems in place. You know, or they lost so many nurses that the systems aren't in place. Excuse me. So, you know, when we set up our business and we want to help us to remove the good and the bad, when I talked about, you know, I name this the good and the bad, the pressure washing. When we put systems into place, this is the way to help get rid of the bads. And the reason why that is, is because a lot of times we have bads because we don't, um, we aren't proactive, we're reactive. And so, you know, when I talk about the 26 steps to the perfect house wash, the reason why I teach that for it is, is because I'm trying to help you uh, be proactive in things though that you don't screw things up. Or if you have an employee, they don't screw things up. And so when you follow that 26 steps to the perfect house wash, guess what? You are doing those things. Now, a lot of times people are like, well, I'm the owner. I'm a one man show. I don't need to do that. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call you out on that because that's not true. You know, I, a lot of times people screw stuff up and they will tell me, oh, uh, you know, I, I, I burnt up these, look at this flower. Did I do that? Well, show me the, the before pictures. Oh man, I forgot to get those. Show me the after pictures. Oh dude, I forgot to get those too. Uh, that's part of what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and not only that it's before and after is to cover your tail, it's also to make sure that you um, have marketing stuff. And doing your marketing is just as important as anything else at the end of the day. And so that is definitely something that we need to do to make sure that we do our marketing, that we do our things, that we do the things that we need to do to make sure that we're being successful. Um, I've actually, um, I got an email today um, from one of the guys that's in the membership that's coming to the meetings every Monday night on Zoom meeting for accountability. And, you know, he was saying that his goal is to do a hundred grand. And he had mentioned now what he's going to do to be able to hit that hundred thousand dollars. You know, he's going to make sure he's putting out signs. He's going to try to find two realtors a month to go talk to and, you know, doing all the things that we need to do to make sure that we're being successful. And again, those are kind of systems too, because, you know, a lot of the times I see people, they're like, yeah, I'm going to go put out 25 signs a week or a month or a hundred signs a month. And they buy the signs and then they sit at the garage door or they buy the door hangers and they don't get put up. Um, they don't do the five arounds. They don't do the things like that um, to make sure that, you know, we can do that to, to make sure that the five arounds are um, important. You know, and, and people might say, well, I don't get much return off of it. Well, it's not that you're going to get a lot of return off of a five around, but a little bit of return is better than no return. And so if we can get a little return here on five arounds, we can get a little return on, on yard signs, we can get a little return on Facebook, we can get a little return on LinkedIn. Now, when we add all those little things up, we have a big thing. 
Um, so it's definitely important to make sure that we are keep doing our marketing, keep doing the things that we need to do to make sure that we're successful. Um, so then were some things that we got to do. So um, back to my story. Yes, I'm at a hotel again tonight because of the the pipe freezing in our house there happened to pull all the insulation down and all of that good stuff and being we got two kids they got to shut the water off and it's just a disaster so it just sucks um what's this question here do you write notes down for the live streams or does the come off the top of your head <laughs> uh you um most of the time I I pull it um, off the top of my head. Not all the time, though. Um, here lately, I've been using Jarvis or Jasper, um, and I can get some um, script. Uh, it it gives me like some talking points that I that I'll hit on. Um, but being that I'm not at my computer right now, um, I'm actually in a hotel, and you can see the White Death is outside um, here where we're at. Um, so that, um, is the other thing that we've been stuck at the hotel all day because it's been icing and sleeting and all the other great things that come with winter storm. Congrats, Jason Hefner. That's a great feeling when the phone rings. Oh, what did he write? First January, couldn't get phone to ring. Second January, started ringing off the, and paid off. Third January in business. Did more, did more than fifteen thousand. Not bad for a part time. No, and, and you know, when you stay persistent, Jason is on it. Now I know Christina um, does a lot with him also, but those two work very well. Jason works very hard. Um, you know, he makes sure that he does his five arounds, ten arounds. He makes sure that he's putting out signs on Saturday morning at five or four o'clock in the morning, every Saturday morning. He makes sure that he's doing the things that he needs to do. And so when you do those things, and yes, he does it when he gets tired and hot and he does it, you know, he's telling me that it's 82 degrees down there in, um, in Florida right now. And so, you know, he does it, he does the things that you need to do. And, you know, I always tell him because he's always worried about his competition. He's still worried about his competition to this day. And, you know, the biggest thing is, is if you don't do the things that you need to do, it, it does, it does, you no know, good money seeds and money bushes. You know, if you're not out there flipping rocks, if you're not out there putting the signs out there, if you're not out there doing the face, he still does a Facebook Live. He's going to do LinkedIn Lives. He's doing those things. And do you think he wants to do the Facebook Lives? No, he hates doing Facebook Lives. He only does them for forty or for a minute, less than sixty seconds. Yeah, sixty seconds. Because if he knows he does it longer than sixty seconds, then he he will start screwing up. So he just does them for less than a minute, and he still does them to this day. And so you know, you got to make sure that you got to do the things over and over and over and over. And a lot of times people think it's just successful, that you're just going to be successful. And that's not the case. And yes, I know there's people on YouTube that will push, you can just do this and you're going to be successful. You know, I've seen people that go put out a sign and make 10 grand the first month. I've seen people put out 100 signs and make a thousand dollars you know and and a lot of those things are systems you know how do you answer your phone well do you answer your phone that's the first one do, do you answer your phone how do you answer your phone um do you answer it professionally or do you sound like a redneck hillbilly that don't know what he's talking about um how do how do you do the things you know how do you dress you know, Jason is always giving me, he, Jason is always giving me crap about the $99 guy. Uh, when he goes to the pressure washing stores, he can tell who the $99 guys are versus the guys that are more successful. They look nice. They're in uniform. They have nice trucks. They don't look like a bum. You know, the $99 guys coming in and looking like bums, you know. And so look professional. 
Look like you know what you're doing. Look like, act like you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, act like what you're doing and learn from your failures. Learn from the things that you need to do better. And so those are some things that you have to do because if we don't get the phone to ring, it doesn't do us no good to do anything else. I can't even do a live. I fumble all my damn words. Well, practice and do it. And you know what? When you when you start being yourself and people know that you're genuinely trying to do it, people will follow you. And you know what? If you screw up, that just means you're real. I screw up. Everybody screws up, you know? I say stupid things sometimes that I'm like, oh, what am I going with that? Most of the time, I've learned how to do and not to do that, though. But I've been doing this for about... 22, almost 10 years now, because um, I started doing lives when I was in 13, 14 in my business. I was doing Facebook lives for my business. And so they sucked back in. Um, and so those are things that you can do to make you better um, and to do those things. And so, you know, if you don't know what to talk about, you know, like I always say, I, when I'm talking, I always act like there's a person on the other side of this camera that I'm talking to too. And so those are the things that we got to do to make sure that we get better. And you know what? I want to get better at it. I can still keep trying. I, I want to take, you know, how to tell a better story, how to, how to speak better, how to do those things better. And so those are definitely, um, I did my first, that's exactly right. Jason actually came into my Facebook and my pressure wash help group, and he would do his Facebook lives there first to get used to it. And I would recommend you to do that. Just come in there and, and just talk a little bit. Just talk about maybe the job you're on or the whatever. And that way you can get used to it. And that way I will critique you. I won't make fun of you. I won't. Um, I won't let other people make fun of you because that's not what it's about. I want you to learn. Um, and so how do we learn? We get critiqued by each other and not, we don't, um, we don't do those things, um, if needed, you know? And so those are definitely some things that we got to look at when we're trying to grow our business, when we're trying to get to the next level. Um, because if we, you know, what do we do? Why do we need to do it? to make us better. Um, and when you get better, you're going to get better and better. And the more you practice, the better you're going to get. And yes, it's hard when we first start out, but it can be done. So now what do we need to do? Um, I'm about to take an accounting and Excel class. Good. Um, never thought about a live, just put in a hundred more signs for using marketing. And, and those are great too. But Let's think about that. What if every time you get a job from a sign, then you can do some marketing on a Facebook Live, which then that will also help bring more work in. So now we're not just getting the work off of that sign, we're getting work off of that Facebook Live too. Charles, we can pretend we will jobs one day. So definitely um i don't even know where i was going with that now so what do we need to do now to be ready for spring that's where i wanted to hit on next because spring is right around the corner yes like i showed you the snow out there and i know we got snow you can see the ice tree right there the ice tree <laughs> all the ice on the tree whoops um and you know that's something that we got to do but you know, I wanted to hit on what do we need to start doing, you know, and a lot of times people don't want to start doing things now. They're like, I'm ready. I'm working on my rig. I got my rig all ready to go. But what do I do now? And it comes back to we got to start working on our marketing now. You know, if you're not doing Facebook, if you're not doing Facebook posts, if you're not doing those things now, those are some things that we can do. Does, um, you know. Um, are we set up, have we done our Google My Business or Google Profile? Um, not Google My Business no, no more, but the Google Pro Business Profile. Do we have it all set up? Do we have it everything? Do we have it um, plant the money seeds, pick the phone up if it doesn't start ringing? 
you know, do, have we put our pictures on there? Have we, are we putting Google Post up right now? And yes, you can do Google Post. Are you going to offer another class in Florida? Not this year, probably. Um, it'll, um, it'll be in Raleigh with my next one. Um, and my Florida one has sold out. So um, that's where we are there. It freaking snowed in Texas last year. I've seen that from Michael. I seen that. Um, I seen that from Michael's Hendeliners um, live that it had snowed in 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 Texas. So, but what 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 is your guy's goal this year? That's that's another thing. Write down your goal. What is your goal for twenty twenty two? What what are some things that you're gonna do? that we got that nice. It actually wasn't that bad. I actually drove home last, or tonight and back out. Um, so it wasn't, it's not too bad. Um, but what is your goal for 2022? What do you want? Do you, and not just what is your financial goal, what are some other goals that you're wanting to set? What are some things that you want to do by the end of this year? You might be, I want to start a pressure washing business. I want to do a $5,000 month. I want to do a $1,000 month. I want to do a $25,000 month. I want to quit my day job like Grime just put there. Um, what is some of your goals for 2022? And then the next thing I'm going to ask is, what are some things that you're going to do to be able to achieve those goals? What are the things that you're going to do to be able to hit those goals? I hit 250000 um, get a tech, take wife to Nashville. What do you do to get the phone to ring? Um, I'm new. Um, so again, we're going to, um, my goal is to stick to the plan, execute, uh, get off the truck. I'm going to put that goal on there for you. Um, <laughs> So how do we get the phone to ring? So the phone's not just going to ring because you bought a $20,000 rig. It's not going to happen. Um, how do we get the phone to ring? Well, there's lots of ways we can get the phone to ring. First thing is, is we got to do our Google profile, Google business profile. Now, it's not as easy as it used to do be to get it up and running. Um, you may have to do some work to get it up and running. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt to get it up and running. But if we got to get it up and running, because that is one thing that's going to help us. Now, just because we get that up and running, it doesn't mean the phone's going to ring. So the way that you get your phone to ring is, is get on Facebook, get into all the um, neighborhood groups, the mom groups, the, the city groups, the, all of that. And get off of all the pressure washing groups because that's not going to make you no money. Um, I see so many guys being like, "How do I get money? How do I make money?" And they're and they're posting fifty times on the pressure washing group. Well, if you would have went and took those fifty times and posted into the those other groups, your phone would start ringing. So that's one way. Facebook is one way. Another way is is my favorite that I see people make a hundred thousand dollars a year off of or more is uh, money bushes. Um, yard signs, moneybushes.com. Um, if you go to moneybushes.com, that's a great place for you to get yard signs. Um, so that is another way. Yard signs is definitely by far one of the easiest ways that we can get business and business coming. Um, this boy talks facts. And so if we put out yard signs, that's going to get our phone to ring. Now, on top of that, we got to answer that phone when it starts ringing. I know a lot of times we get to the point of, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, that that phone starts ringing and we can't keep at answering. That phone is more important than getting that job you're on right now done. Because you already got that job, now we gotta get the next job. And so that phone is important. So money bushes is definitely a way to do it. Door hangers, if you like to exercise and you wanna go do door hangers, Door hangers is another way to go do that. Um, SEO work to Google profile as well. Well, yeah, and that's more long term. But to get the phone to ring in the beginning, we ain't worrying about no SEO. We ain't worrying about no um, website. We're not worrying about any of that stuff because um, that's long term. That's not now. We need the phone to ring now. Next thing is, is networking. Go to networking groups. Go to your chain 
Chamber of Commerce. Go to, you can go to meetups.com and find business groups. You can go to BNI and go, you can go visit three or four BNIs and they don't cost you a thing to go visit. Um, we can network. Um, you know, who are you hanging around with? If, if you are hanging around with um, a bunch of, if you're the top person of the five people you're hanging around with, get rid of those four, uh, five people and get five new people so that you're the bottom of it. Um, is in Google profile different than GMB? No, Google profile is the new GMB. The GMB is going away. That is, and it's called that. Um, so it is just the Google pr business profile is the new name for the Google My Business. Um, I will never get escorted out by a security guard of a dirty building. Okay, next. Um, go flip rocks, just like Jason Hefner put, put there. Um, go knock on doors. Go knock on, you know, commercial buildings. Go knock on, um, go find uh, there. Um, another way that's not really short-term, but it's long-term, um, is LinkedIn. LinkedIn's another great way to get a lot of work um, for your business. Um, last time, um, you know, them are some ways that we can get the phone to ring now. Um, yes. Can we do SEO and website and that? Yeah, we can do that, but that's not going to make your phone ring now. That might make your phone ring six months, eight months down the road, but that's six months, eight months down the road. That's not now. Um, you know, so them are some things that, I, I, I would push. And honestly, the best things that I can I can push is, you know, yard signs bring a lot of money in. Um, yard signs brings a lot of money in. Um, another thing is is people doing um, doing the side of Facebook. I know people that, you know, bring in a hundred grand off of Facebook. Um, you know, go check out um, go check out um, Clean Power Wash, Aunt Rob Anderson. He's another guy on YouTube that, you know, he gets a lot of business off of Facebook. Now, does he post one time a day? Does he post one time a week? No, he posts four or five times a day. Um, and he does it every day. And he does it on his business page. And he does it on his, um, he does it on his business page. And he does it on his personal page. And so, you know, he's doing it. Um, Andrew and Savannah Pitts, I've made a lot of money off of Facebook. They've gotten some really good contacts off of Facebook. Um, so those are definitely some things that we got to look at when we're trying to figure out how to get money off of, um, off of the Facebook. Um, so those are definitely are some things that we got to do. So I know I went on that way longer than I probably should have. And if you want to know more about how each one of those works and what you need to do, it's all in my membership. Go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash training. Um, and there you will find everything you need to know about um, of it. You can go to kingofpressurewash.com. You can go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free and you can get 30 days free. Um, so those are definitely some things that, and then we do a, a Zoom call every Monday night where a lot of successful people come on and there's 20 to 30 people come on every Monday night and some of them are just starting out and some of them are, you know, have done three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. Um, so it's definitely something that you have to do. And Jason, like Jason said, um, it is definitely a process. This isn't something that we can do one time and we just don't do it no more. We're going to put out 100 signs and we're not going to put any more out. We're going to do 10 Facebook Lives and never do it again. We're going to do, um, I don't know, we're going to pay. You know, it, it's, it's definitely something that we do have to be relentless, prolific, consistent, relentless, and prolific. You know, we have to do it over and 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 over. If we don't do it over and over and over, you're gonna it, you're gonna come to a point that's gonna get you in bed. My Facebook ad gets the women and my female employee. Um, long term perspective can be hard to comprehend. Um, do you have any videos about cleaning limestone pavers? I don't know if I do or not. 
Um, I post my other on my other channel every now and then. Um, but, you know, those are definitely some things that we have to think about when we're trying to grow a pressure washing business. You know, is it easy? No, it's not easy. Does it take time? Yes, it takes time. Does it take hard work? Yes, it takes hard work. Can you have financial freedom? Yes, you can have financial freedom. Can you have time freedom? Absolutely, you can get time freedom. Um, but is it going to happen overnight? It's not. Um, the people that I know grow real fast sometimes don't do not do very well in the end. Um, they grow too fast, and, and then they can't keep the work coming in, and then they have to usually fail at all together at that point. So most definitely, you know, you can do it. Um, I know you can do it. Uh, I, there's a lot of people that, you know, you might think, well, I don't know if that person can do it. And I've said it myself. I had a person that came into my class and, and he's doing well. Um, he's doing well for himself. Um, so definitely, definitely make sure that, you know, you can do it on your business page. Follow all the real estate agents on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Always comment and like their posts. Congratulate them on sold properties. This has gotten me a lot of work. And do that on LinkedIn. You'll get really big jobs on LinkedIn. The beautiful thing about LinkedIn is, is you can go find property managers. You can go find facility managers. Um, and those are the money people. This year, I want to focus on systems with bidding and packages and tracking, that kind of thing. Also, want to see what kind, what I could do better when it comes to marketing. Um, yeah, packages. You got to do packages. If you're not doing packages, you're leave, you're leaving money on the table. My web team started posting project picks on website and GMP posts in April, and I started ranking um, ranking at the end of the season. No other SEO. So yeah, it works. But it also took you seven months to get that. So that's what I'm saying. Don't sit there and think that, oh, I'm going to do a website and this is just going to make my phone ring because it's not going to happen that way. Um, Power Watch Pro's videos is right. Is that you right now? And it costs you nothing. Um, thanks for believing in us. You, you can do it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people that, you know, half this battle of running a business is up here is mindset. Um, I fight the mindset problems. I do. I would be lying if I said I didn't fight mindset problems. Um, you know, and you can do it. It is possible. Um, you know, there's people that I know that, you know, was a forklift driver. Um, he did 150,000 last year. I got a garbage man that did 450,000 or 400,000, you know, I got a firefighter paramedic that's still working full time, that's doing 200,000, you know, and so you can do it. it. It is possible that you can do it. Um, don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Um, now, does it take hard work? Yes, it does. It doesn't come easy. It doesn't just blink of an eye and there it is. You know, it is hard work, but it is definitely work that, you know, I got a school teacher, a dumb old gym teacher that he used to tell me that, you know, I think he did about 120, I think you said 120, one, a little over 100,000, and he's a old, old fart, you know, he's 55, 60 years old, and, you know, that is what you can do to be able to make that happen. Mindset is everything. Competitors pull my signs, copy my marketing, but despite it all, you can do it. Stay focused, stick with the process. Um, you know, Jason Hefner was the firefighter I was telling you about that doing it part time, you know, and, and able to do it. It is possible to be done. Um, is it easy? No, it's not always easy. Do you get burnt out sometimes? Yep. He gets burned out. Um, you know, does he complain about his signs getting pulled? Yep. Does he quit putting them in because they get pulled? Nope. He keeps putting them out there because he knows that's what you got to do. I see so many people be like, man, I put my signs out 
and they were gone the next day. Well, when did you put them out? Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. Well, why don't you try this? Put them out on Friday, and hopefully they will stay till Monday. And then that's all you ask for that one sign. You put out a three dollar sign, and if it and if it can stay out the weekend, that's all you ask for. That's all you're shooting for. You don't care if it sticks out longer than that. Um, you know, that's just what you get to do. So you're saying Al is an old fart. He is. He's old and grumpy. Um, I'm surprised he ain't saying something on here right now about me. So <laughs> he knows I love him. I haven't talked to him in a while. So um, he's he's out of date in Ohio. Um, and, and that's another thing, you know, when you're networking. So he was a school teacher for 30 years he retired as a school teacher he has all kinds of contacts of all those kids that went to school for 30 some years now the last five years um jason is not is nothing but facts you know the last five years those students probably ain't going to make you know money but the students before that you know he has a network of 25 years of people that um that is his customer. Now, not all of them are his customer. Um, you know, he knows which ones were probably his customers. I know he was saying the ones I'm going to hire and the ones that I wouldn't hire. Um, you know, and they know who his customer is. And yes, he was a gym teacher. So everybody had to come to gym, whether you like it or not. And so, you know, that is definitely where his strong point is. Al has probably done more, made more money off of networking than any other thing out there because he has a huge network of all these kids that have went to um, school at that school, at a very large school, and now he's able to, to network with those stu those students and do that. You know, and we're not talking, you know, Brian is a woodworking teacher. Now, is most people Brian's teacher going to probably be his customer? Probably not. But as a gym teacher, you're going to have a whole lot of people that there's a lot of smart kids that got to go to gym because they got to get that credit. And so those that's the reason that it makes it nice that he has a huge network to do this and make that happen. So, you know, just remember that networking does work. Um, if you're a good extrovert and like to talk and you like to go meet and kiss babies and do all that kind of thing, that's exactly what you can do. 700 kids a year times 33 and their parents. Um, so, you know, he has a huge network, um, a huge network. Um, and that's what is good about when you start networking with things and certain we're networking and that's a way that you can get business. You know, he's, he's very, he does a lot on, um, he does a lot of on social media. He does a lot on Facebook because that's where a lot of his clientele is. So that's where he pushes that. Um, so that's exactly what me too on commander, but you know that, um, Good luck, Jason. You got it. Well, I hope so. I scared my wife, but other than that, we're good. She looked at me. What? 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 Um, how many reviews you have now? So Jason has 125 reviews, um, and he's trying to get to 200 by August. Um, that's when the huge convention is. If you, if I've helped you all, you can give me a review. You can go to pressurewashhelp.com slash review, and I would appreciate a review. How possible is it to structure my business around roof cleaning? Yeah, it depends. Um, roof cleaning wasn't a big part of my business. You can try to make it a big part of your business, um, but it depends on how much marketing you're doing and all of that. Um, it, it really does depend on it. Um, I do know some businesses that that's where they really focus on is the roof cleaning and they do well with it. Um, I know, you know, but I don't know very many. Um, how we should go give each other five star reviews. And I don't agree with that because Google knows who you are and where you're from. And they know um, that that's not probably the real review. And so you can get flagged and it can be not good for you. It's just like the same thing with pressure washing business pages everybody wants to go um, change around their business pages to grow their number count on there and that's not your customer your customer is people lo local to you another pressure washer across the country 
isn't going to help you out. That's not the goal, what you need to do. Um, that's, in fact, that's the opposite of what you need to do. Um, you need to go find people in your area and try to get them to like your pages. You know, go find realtors and go find um, business owners and all of those people in that. And, and I want to hit on something here because I, I think sometimes people, they forget about this. All it takes is one business card, one yard sign, one, one Facebook ad, one Facebook post that could be worth $100,000 or $200,000. And I'll tell you, for instance, so Benjamin, he was up in, he's up in um, Ohio, uh, another Benjamin, not, and hit, one of his guys gave a business card to a guy that, um, that was, he, he does all the signs. They own all the sign company. And from that one business card, he has done over $300,000 worth of work from one business card. So you never know if we don't, now, if he would have never gave that business card out, he would have never gotten that $300,000. I can tell you stories like that from a yard sign, from a Facebook post, from a, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, the, the pits, they've done probably, they're going to be almost to a million dollars. I know over $750,000 in the last year and a half um, from one Facebook post. One Facebook post, $750,000. Think about that. So when you think that you can't do it, think of it that way. Is this the one business card that's going to be worth $100,000? Is this one sign going to be worth $25,000? Is this one Facebook Live going to be worth $100,000? Because when we start thinking that way, you never know which one it is going to be. And you know which one it's not going to be? The one that's still sitting in the box because you were too lazy to go get them out and put them out. Or you were too scared to hand out the, the, the business card. Or you were too scared to put up the yard signs. Or you were too scared to go Facebook Live. Or you were too scared to post on Facebook. Or you were too scared to post on LinkedIn. Or you didn't want to learn about LinkedIn because you just didn't want to do LinkedIn. Benjamin Gregory was on here earlier tonight, did a $178,000 job off of a LinkedIn post. Think about that. Think about that. Where, why are you not, why are you scared to go out there and post on, on Facebook? Why are you scared to not do that? Go do it and do it and, and, and be, and when you're positive about it and you just keep pushing it, you will do better at it. I guarantee you, you never know what, what post is going to be worth, what might, might be worth $100. Might be worth $10,000. Might be worth $100,000. Might be worth a half a million dollars. Um, the pits are doing a half a million dollar paint job right now off of that one Facebook post. Um, and they've done a bunch of other stuff. They've done probably about $200,000 already for this dude. And now he is doing a half a million dollar paint job. So don't be scared of posting don't be scared of going live don't be scared of of pushing yourself because if you don't push yourself you will not it won't go it won't happen and we got to be consistent we got to do it over and over and over we got to do it when we're tired we got to do it we got to do it when it's snowing out and it's yucky outside we got to do it we got to keep posting we got to keep doing those things we got to keep doing the things that are hard so Sometimes, and I know a lot of times we get busy, and we get busy with doing the the thing, which is pressure washing. But that's not what's going to make us become successful. What's going to make us come successful is getting that phone to ring, and that's how we can start raising our prices. We can get premium pricing, like Donovan and I always talk about premium pricing. And when we get premium pricing, things are will be way better for you. Then you can pay for ads. You can do other things. You can do a lot of other things when we start getting premium pricing coming in. And, you know, again, 
most of everything I've been saying, I haven't even talked about things that we can do that might be like Google ads or, you know, Facebook ads. Everything I've talked so far has been free stuff. I haven't even gone down the road of things that we could do paid advertisement, you know, but we have to be able to make sure that we are doing these things so that way it will keep that phone ringing. It will keep the phone ringing. And if we get the phone ringing, we got to keep answering the phone, guys. A lot, I see so many guys not answer the phone. Um, we called plumbers the other day, and nobody answered their phones. And if they did answer the phone, they were they would come in next week. You know who got the job? Oh, yeah, sir, we'll be there in an hour. Guess what? They got the job. You know what? It was a, a probably ten dollars worth of pieces, and they charged me four hundred bucks. But you know what? It got my water back on, and I'm not waiting till Monday or Tuesday of next week before they can even come out. You know, so you got to be able to be on it, answer the phone, and people are willing to pay. People are willing to pay premium pricing if you can get there faster. People are willing to pay that. You know, if we load up our calendar with ninety nine dollar jobs, we're going to lose out on the thousand dollar jobs it's just a fact i've seen it over and over and over um i remember two years ago benjamin gregory called me and was like man i'm losing 700 hundred dollar jobs because i'm bidding i'm closing i'm doing these 300 hundred dollar jobs i'm like well quit bidding the 300 hundred dollar jobs and bidding everything at 700 dollars and a thousand dollars and that way it will keep it coming and keep it going so all righty. Well, I um, hope you all learn something and take it to action because you can learn all day, but if you don't take, put it to action, it don't do you no good. It really doesn't. You have to take action. Um, if we take action, things happen, man, and, they, and big things can happen. Um, you will be surprised what happens when you start taking action. Um, the phone will start ringing. The 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 bank account will start being better for you um, and everything just works better. Um, you know, and that's the thing that I push the most and that's the reason why I push it is because I want to make sure that you all are successful. Um, you know, I put out a lot of information, you know, in my membership, I do talk about it cause I do have to make a living somehow or another. Um, and, you know, it does, I try to help any which way I can in there. Every Monday night, we're doing a Zoom call um, for, it, it's not just about um, pressure washing. It's about marketing, learning something about marketing, putting it into action and doing it. Um, yes, I will be on the Zoom call this Sunday night. Also, it will be at seven o'clock Eastern time is that one. Indigo, thank you for the 20 dollar super chat i appreciate that very much um it does help me out too um but you know yes and 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 let's take a minute for john lang i know he's helped a lot of people get started um he he the thing i liked about john is he started from literally nothing um one of his i was looking at one of his most viewed videos was his old pickup truck and it was ragged out. And I, I mean, he probably had a thousand dollars worth of equipment on it. And, and that's how he made it started. And so, you know, if you're not in his membership, it's worth 10 X, um, you know, and John started from nothing, literally nothing. Um, and so John Lang is who that is. John Lang passed away today. Um, and so his, he was known for what kind of, he kind of done wash life team wash life. Um, is who, what he was known for too. And so, you know, it just sucks that things happen. Um, but, and that's the thing that I did like about John. John was one that he didn't push a lot of stuff. He was a lot of times from the heart of trying to get through and get by and, you know, and, and that. And so I knew, I knew he was having some issues about a year or two ago um, cause he was supposed to join BBB and I heard he had fallen off the wagon and whatever, but you know, everybody has their devils they got to get through and battles they got to get through and, you know, hopefully he's in a better place and don't have to deal with any of that stuff no more. So, um, but other than that, I hope you all have a great, um, I do have a Valentine special 
going on. It is a pretty good special, but I don't remember what it. I think it's like if you put in the discount code "Be My Valentine," I think is what it is, um, and it's a pretty good deal. It's going on to the fourteenth. Um, I don't, um, I haven't looked at, at it. It's on my desk and I haven't been at my desk since Monday because, well, like I said in the beginning of this, I was in the hospital on Tuesday and Wednesday and now I'm at a hotel because our lines broke. And so it's been one of those weeks that, you know, when the crap hits the fan, it just really hits the fan. Um, and so that's what happened. But hope you all have a great night and I'll see you all later.